So last video, we used MOSFETs, we used JFETs, and we used a couple different types of op amps in order to make a overdrive type circuit. So kind of demonstrating the differences between them. Uh, just to kind of clear up some confusion from that last video, there were some people that said, you know, I, I would I hate JFETs, they sound terrible. Um, let me clarify it a little bit. Whenever you're designing something, you can make you can make it less splatty, you can make it more splatty, you can make it fuzz, you can make it boost. There's different things you can do. In that particular circuit, I was trying, or that particular video, with those circuits, I was really trying to kind of do the same thing in each stage to kind of show when you do this particular type of gain circuit and you just use MOSFETs instead of JFETs or an op amp instead of JFETs or whatever, that this is what happened. So as a designer, as any sort of engineer would know, um, you, there's things you could do to get rid of that. Now, with that said, today I thought, you know what? That, that last video, people seem to like that. Wonder what would happen if we took a big muff and a fuzz face and used FETs instead of, UJ FETs instead of, uh, instead of the regular bipolar transistors. So that's what we're going to do. So what we have here is a big muff, a uh, silicon big muff. Um, tone is on, wicker is off. I'm playing through a clean, I'm playing through a clean tone, of course. My, for my clean tone, I'm playing through a bravado. And here's what it sounds like. Now, the big muff. I have the sustain, or the gain, which is same thing, different name printed on the front of it, still doing the same stuff. I had that all the way up. Tone, I got, uh, I got about the middle or so. And then uh, <clears throat> volume just to taste, of course. So that's the big muff. You'll also notice on the big muff, um, this, this type of circuit, it doesn't clean up like a fuzz face. Get my bridge. Just not even really designed to. So with that said, that's the silicon. Let's go to the JFET version. Now, to kind of give you a, a, a little bit of a preface here, um, Whenever you're changing to JFETs, you can't just take a, a transistor, a, a, a NPN transistor out and then put a JFET in place. There, you have to do some biasing stuff and there's some, some different things like that you have to do. But I'm trying to keep it as close to the big, math, big muff schematic as I can. Uh, so here we go. And it uh, looks like my tone is about noon on this. That's my tone knob right there. Uh, and sustain or gain is all the way up. As we can see, it's a little splatty. It's going to be that way just because we're just hammering that, that first JFET like crazy with signal. Um, you know, if I was going to modify this, I'm going to take out some of that signal so we're not hitting that JFET quite so hard. Uh, but again, we're trying to keep as close to the, to the Big Muff schematic as possible. Uh, one thing that I kind of liked, it makes a little bit more distortion-y, a little less fuss, but there's some other things we could do if we're modifying the circuit. But one thing I wanted to show you is I put some hard clipping diodes right smack dab in the middle of the circuit. Um, on the base, schem uh, base uh, schematic of this type of circuit, there's not really diodes to ground. There's not really like super hard clipping diodes. It's more like, um, it's not super soft like an overdrive, but it's not super hard like most distortions. Um, but the way those, those diodes are set in that circuit, it gets fuzz 
fuzz up with with each gain stage. So let's uh, let's put those in the circuit just for fun to try to get this JFET sound a little bit more like a big muff. <laughs> Now let's turn the tone knob around just a little bit so you can kind of see how uh, how it is uh, in comparison to to the regular big muff. Actually, let me pull these diodes out real quick so we don't have that hard clipping diode uh, section that I stuck in there. So here we go uh, without the diodes. And uh, the last test, of course, with this particular circuit, let's see if it cleans up any better. I was on the neck last time, starting. Nope, still not gonna clean up. Okay, on to the next circuit. The next circuit is going to be a fuzz face. So this is a silicon fuzz face. Uh, I love it. It's not like a germanium necessarily, but it does have its own sound. Let's see what it sounds like compared to the fat version. So here we go on the fuzz face first. See how it cleans up on the neck. Love the way those fuzz faces clean up. Let's try the FET version now. Um, so let me kind of explain this a little bit. With, with a fuzz face type of circuit, it doesn't work. Well, it works, but it works really poorly whenever you use two JFETs in that circuit. So you got to use like the standard transistor that you would normally find in, in a fuzz face and then a JFET after that. But they both work together kind of as one gain stage. So it's just the way it works without getting into a lot of details about impedance and other kind of crap that would probably make you stop watching this video. Okay, so here we go. Again, gains all the way up on both, the, well, gain, fuzz is all the way up uh, on both of these. Again, fuzz, gain, still same thing. Let's see how this cleans up first. <laughs> Not nearly as good. All right, bridge pickup, all the way up. So as we can hear, not as much gain to it, a little bit more mid-rangey sort of. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not super crazy about this particular type of circuit using FETs. Uh, I love the circuit, don't get me wrong. Using a FET in place of, of the uh, the transistor, of the bipolar transistor there, 
I don't like it as much. The Feb version, I think I could probably do some tweaks to that. I think th that's something that that could kind of be a cool product if, if a person wanted to just tweak some things around and make kind of a different kind of fuzz using those JFEDs. I, there's, a, there's a lot of potential there, I think. But I want to hear what you think. It doesn't really matter what I think. Uh, let me know in your comments, in the comments below the video, what you think, uh, which one you liked, general thoughts, even if you, if, you have, uh, if you have some ideas for more videos along these lines, I'd love to hear them because, you know, I just kind of do what I feel like. And that's what I felt like doing today. So uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.